Oh, this soft. Look at the skin. It just go right through. Hey, say, my partner smell bad. Smell like you can eat, though. Hello, my lovely subscribers. Welcome, welcome back to the Greedy Tourist channel. And all those who are new, yes, we welcome you too. So, people, we are here today by the river. And look what we have. Yes, we have a wild hog that four pounds of wild hog. We have a little machete and we have a chopper here. So, so this is one of the many parts to the wood fire series that we're doing. So to keep everything authentic and real, yes, we'll come a river and we're gonna chop up this and deal with it straight. All right, guys, so if you want to see how we're going to cook this over open fire, just stay tuned, guys, all right? But if you're gonna hit the subscribe button here, yeah, if it's still red, just hit it for me, please, and click the notification button. Like, comment, and share when you're done watching that video, yeah? My love, you know, continue watching. So we're going to just wash it off in the river. You think you want to scrape off more? I'm not going to scrape it no more, you know? Because if you scrape it, you have to put it over a fire, right? No stamina, you know that? Liquor here never kill nobody. So yes, we got this wild hog. It cut you. Because you don't want to clean it up. We got this wild hog from a hunter. So we're just doing a bit of cleaning. Yeah, we just are clean it up. People, can you appreciate the color of this? Look how beautiful this is. Nice, and Mr. Countryman, they are cleaning it up well nice too. Eh? Yes, using sharp machete. So you know, we're not too fancy. When I do the wood fire thing, we want it to be authentic. We don't want to use any cutting board, you know, all those fancy modern things. This is what our ancestors used to do. And you see how long them live? Yeah, them never fussy. Them do everything simple. Yes, yeah, so we're going back to those days right now. Wild pork meat is very lean. There's not a lot of fat on it. And it is way healthier than the regular pigs that they raise and feed them on those, you know, grains and stuff. This animal has been eating healthy, just roots from trees and fruits and you know anything that nature provides, that is what they eat because they live nowhere close to humans. They live all the way into some like forest or woodland, yes. So because we live so close to the river, we didn't have a problem coming here to do this. <clears throat> People don't talk truth. No. Talk truth. Look at this. Look at the color and the quality of this meat. Even though we had it in the freezer for about a week, right? Jesus Christ! You see that boy I nearly chop off my hand? Father God, you know what, hurry up, let me don't film this, please. Look at the marbling in that. Beautiful, just beautiful. So we're going to season this to perfection now and then we're going to drop it from the open fire as we Jamaican call it, wood fire. Yes, wood fire cooking at the sweetest. You find five dollars. So we drop it back in the water. So we're seasoning up this bad boy here. Just using the regular Maggie, Maggie all purpose. And 
and some Maggi chicken flavored seasoning. And then over here we have the, you know, natural seasonings. We have tomatoes, purple onion, garlic, we have some Irish potatoes, we have chocolate habanero, thyme, sweet pepper, carrots, and um, scallion, and also tomatoes. So we're incorporating the seasoning in to our meat. So all the seasonings, both powder and the natural seasonings and vegetables have been added to the pork and now we're going to leave it. We're going to mix it all together and then leave it to marinate for about an hour or so on, or until we are ready to cook it. We're about to cook the pork. Just place our pot on the fire here and we just rinse the pot so there's some water in it. We're going to let that um, evaporate out and then we're going to add our oil so you guys now we are chewing the oil and put it in the so oh yeah talk so you have to speak up should I put some more in it or that one? no man chew more in it man remember I said pig oil this is not a fatty pig you don't want too much oil in there yeah you have spice of the oil in the oil Pimento. pimento berry and the pimento leaves, garlic and hot So we're going to add the pork mm. to the hot oil. We're just looking for a good brown on this, we have a good brown color. We didn't add any browning, we might add some um, further on in the process, but we're going to just do it like this one now. So we're going to leave this on it to catch some color. So this is about <laughs> Uh, probably five six minutes since we had put it in the pot so we're going to just turn it because we don't want it to get burned we just want it to have a little color so we have a nice golden color here this is what we're looking for wood fire series We're loving this color that we're getting. Ooh, I can't go too close to the pot. So I don't think we have to use any browning because we have a nice brown color here. So about a cup or two cups of water and then we're going to cover this and just let it sweat and the water reduce then we'll come back and add some more water and our seasoning this is how meat is cooked without browning you see you get that nice brown or golden looking brown color yeah Meat a bubble dog. So the water has reduced down. Um, there's not much in the pot, so I'm going to add the seasoning with some water on that. You know, 
incorporate everything. Pretty color, nice man. I think I'm going to add some more water. Yeah, we're going to leave that now. We'll go and cook down. When the water is reduced, it's about half. I'm going to check it again to see how soft it is. But I think it's a young pig because the meat is very soft. Yeah, going through easily. So I don't think this is going to take very long to cook. The smell that hits you when you open this pot. I'm going to add some more water to this because I think I need to cook it a bit longer. Because it hasn't reached a texture that I like. It's not soft enough. So I'm going to just... Put some water on it, yeah. almost covering all the meat, and I'm going to add some, a bit more maggi, a little salt, and some black pepper to that. So I just added the seasonings that I had mentioned. Yeah, just mix it in. So we had, we put the fire low <laughs> with two birds stone. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we draw the, the wood from underneath the fire because we don't want it too high. I'm going to do another taste test to see how the flavor is. I don't think I need to add anything else. So I'm going to just cover this again and leave it until it has reduced down to half. Then I'm going to come back and check. Want to reduce down a bit more. So this has reduced down nicely, so I think I'm going to take it off now. So folks, we have come to the end of the video. Yes. Our gravy has thickened nicely. Yes, it's thick enough for me. So I'm going to just take this off. Let it cool down and serve it up with some rice and peas. So, yes, Steve, if I did good on this wild hog, just comment below. If you know that eat it, you not know, taste a little piece, just, you know, comment below. And if you know, like videos like these, I want to see me do more cooking, just tell me in the comments below. Whatever you guys want to see, comment below. So thank you guys for watching. And remember, hit the subscribe button. Make sure it's not red. Alright? So like, share, comment, and all those good things. And we're out for today, guys. Bye!